guys, what are you doing right now? Are you studying? Are you going over your crypto? Are you watching TV? I'm I'm still fighting this, guys. This guy just uh, three bet me kind of small, so we're gonna see where he's really at. Does he really want to play a pot? I didn't think so. Got a four bet. You know why? Because we had ace. We block like aces. We block queens. We block king queen. We block so much. Of course, we're gonna call this blind versus blind. You should be playing like eighty percent of hands, and you should know when you do play poker. Say you have ace king, and uh. You, you're only going to hit the flop like 33% of the time. So 66% of the time, you're never going to hit your ace or king. So um, I have no equity here necessarily. I mean, I'd have to hit like two cards to make a, a straight. There's already a king on board, two diamonds. No no point in doing that. Giving you free lessons here. We have the ace five and the small blind. Obviously, we're going to raise it. Blind versus blind. Uh, if he three bets, I don't know what we would do. King four on the button. I Let's see. Yeah, we're definitely going to raise that suited king. Some of my favorite hands. King nine, king ten suited. They're probably my two favorite hands. Calls. So you could have a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, we should have more queens and jacks. Actually, he, should, he can have some queens and jacks, but we should have more. Plus, we have backdoor flush opportunity. The backdoors you got to keep in mind, and we have a backdoor straight possibility. We want to put pressure on a small stack. We have a big chip count, so it's not a big deal if he calls or raises. If he raises, we just get out the way, and we just take the pot down with king high. That's what we do. Pocket sevens, not a decent hand, not decent hand, it's a made hand, it's a good hand. Pairs are very good, especially like sixes, seven, you know what I mean? Those are good. I mean, they three bet, I'm definitely calling, we're going to set mine. It doesn't They fold, it's even better. To win a hand without showdown is way better. We're still going to apply more pressure here. We're going to min raise it, we've been doing three, now we're going to just kind of switch it. I would not advise if you're starting out in poker to open hands like this. Only if you're comfortable post-flop to open hands like this. It's a little wide. Like this I'm not going to play, obviously. This is a beautiful hand. Especially in a big blind. Could could three bet, but why waste equity when you have a suited connector you just can call? If I three bet, he four bets me, I can't do nothing with this hand. So we just call, hope for uh, clubs or we have a six. I mean, technically he shouldn't have too many nines, like ace nine suited, but you know, can't really, ha he would have to, have not too many nines in his range. So he checked it back. Uh, I think we bet this. You know what? No, we don't. We can check and call. We don't have to. We have showdown value, and we have possibility of a straight. I don't know what he's betting now. Could just be high cards. Could be a bluff. We definitely want to call this. No point in raising. And that kind of sucks because he definitely could have the flush. That's the only thing he could be betting possibly. Or high cards, like I said. Take it down. 510. You don't really want to. This is getting way too fancy to be playing 510 suited. You know, suited hands look great. They add about 3, 3.5% 3 equity to your hands other than the offsuit ones. You should always play, you know what I mean? That's why like suited hands are a little bit better. Adds about 3% equity. We're on the button. Again, I wouldn't advise people to do this if you're starting out, but I'm comfortable post flop because. Two suited cards. This position, like you know what I mean. I have position. That's power in poker. It means I get to act last, you know. So I get to really gather information on people. Um. Hmm. If he's gonna lead out on me, depends how much he bets. Jesus, I, I mean, I don't really have. It's like. 27% equity. I'm so deep. We're going to do it. See if we can hit a club. We did. 
He's gonna fire another bullet. No. Yeah, that's not a good turn card for us. But we're gonna bluff. We have no showdown value, so what are you gonna do? We're gonna lose. <laughs> But you have to go for shit like that. Not all the time, but yeah, definitely. Sometimes you're going to have to make plays that you don't want to make and stuff like that. King 10 offsuit is just like, it's an okay hand, you know. You want it heads up. You don't want this multi-way. If it was suited, you know, you could go multi-way. But this is a hand you want to go heads up with. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, poker, guys. I mean, a lot of folding, a lot of waiting. And, uh, yeah. I'll do, like, one more hand, but you guys get the point, right? You get the point, Cryptomaniacs. I don't know, we're just doing a couple episodes of poker because I love you guys. Got a nice chip count. Ace-8 eight suited. Definitely a nice hand. You want to be a... Uh, Putting pressure on. Definitely want to squeeze here. Squeeze means raise these two people. Hopefully get them both to fold. If they don't, it's okay. Bada bing, bada boom. 